Good afternoon. Thank you, first of all, for inviting me to give this presentation. And I have to confess that it's not very comfortable for me to give a presentation after the presentation of Professor Macris uh, coming from uh, uh, United Kingdom. Um, why? Uh, because I kindly ask your help. Why? Because um, comprehensive care and uh, promoting uh, physical and psychosocial health and quality of life uh, while decreasing morbidity and mortality uh, is a ancient and uh, uh, hard dream of us. And in fact, we uh, learned the fact that not all dreams are turning into reality. So uh, you will see that in developing countries, countries like my country, um, comprehensive uh, care uh, is uh, some special, has some special aspects, and I will speak about them. Its uh, applicability, uh, for sure, is depending on a lot of factors. It's depending on uh, caregivers, uh, uh, policy makers, uh, healthcare funders, but most of all on the uh, uh, economical situation of the country. So therefore I will give you some details about uh, the economical situation and its impact on hemophilia care in Romania. You see a quite large country in which uh, gross national income is about uh, of uh, 8,000, less than the medium of the southeastern Europe and uh, seven, six times less than in Western Europe. And uh, health expenditure per capita is 500 in the time in, uh, in which in Western Europe it is 5,000, 10 times less. So we belong uh, to uh, the income groups uh, with uh, uh, middle upper income to these 20% of, uh, of uh, uh, countries. It is seen that infant mortality and uh, tuberculosis incidence, uh, two parameters which are very, very important and, and uh, uh, proving and demonstrating the level of, uh, of uh, health care are very, very, very high. And the same, it is uh, true also for hemophilia care. So in fact, uh, hemophilia uh, got an um, issue for, uh, based on scientific data only in 1990. Uh, and it started with the general support of Germany, of Professor Wolfgang Schramm and uh, Barbara Schramm from Bavaria. It was inspired afterwards uh, by the uh, Romanian Hemophilia Association uh, established and affiliated to World Federation of Hemophilia. It was supported afterwards by the twinning program with Austria, with other twinning program uh, between Timisoara and Munich. Afterwards, the twinning program with a very, very successful hemophilia organization from Hungary. And in 1997, we succeeded to introduce the National Health Program for, for Hemophilia, and in 2005, to uh, perform a national registry for hemophilia. So starting from, from uh, zero, uh, with uh, replacement therapy represented uh, all, only by uh, plasma and uh, cryoprecipitate, we succeeded in 2005 to have an uh, um, average of consumption of factor 8 about 0.5. It increased to uh, 0.8, but it remained afterwards, you have seen it is uh, fallen, uh, it dropped. So in 2012, uh, 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 Romania had 0.51 compared with the other uh, figures uh, belonging to the countries from southeastern uh, Europe. The medium is 3.5, so we have less than uh, southeastern Europe and uh, uh, 10 times less than the average from Western Europe. It is the same situation with factor 9. 
And uh, as I told you, after our access in the European Union, because a national health program uh, of hemophilia was uh, uh, introduced in a larger national program for rare disorders, the consumption dropped to 0.4, and now is increasing. So in 2012, uh, it was 0.7. Hemophilia care is performed in uh, fact, not in uh, um, hemophilia treatment centers, but in, uh, in uh, hematology clinics in the 12 uh, uh, cities in Romania. But with this uh, very interesting distribution of resources, so in condition of transparency, we uh, obtain this data. Uh, 45, more than 45% of the resources uh, are coming to Bucharest, to the capitals, capital center. And to the other uh, five public uh, uh, university cities, uh, the proportion is like you can see from 0.27 to 8.66. So if uh, in a hypothetical condition, if we uh, believe that from this budget we will buy uh, only factor 8, the uh, factor 8 uh, consumption will be in the capital city about 5 units per capita, and in the rest of the country, uh, that means 0.47. Uh, in the capital city, we have about uh, 2 million, and in the rest of the country, 19 million inhabitants. So in this situation of uh, budget, it was impossible, it's impossible to have uh, attempt uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, the comprehensive care. It was uh, started only in these two cities uh, in Bucharest, in two cities in uh, uh, Romania, that is a capital city in Bucharest, and in Timisoara. It is a very, very special uh, situation. So you can see the uh, big uh, Funden Hospital from Bucharest and the Louis uh, Tsurkan Hospital from Timisoara, together with the medical center from Buziaj. It's a very special situation as uh, um, it's uh, not from the government designated as a, a comprehensive care center. It is, should I say, recognized and supported in the frame you have seen. It is a multi-institutional uh, comprehensive care based on cooperation, on uh, solidarity, commitment, and strong wish to help uh, our hemophiliacs to, be, uh, to have uh, uh, saved their lives. So in each of these countries is the same situation, a multi-institutional based, uh, uh, I should say, comprehensive care not corresponding to the demanding criteria you have presented, Professor Macris. In both of these uh, uh, cities, uh, there, there is a core institution. Um, I will speak about uh, Timisoara because I know better the situation from here. In the core institution, it, uh, it is performed uh, the hematolo uh, hematological care of, of uh, persons with hemophilia. We try to do it in a comprehensive uh, way. We have a lab 24 hours in a 24 hours regimen. We held the national registry and the data collection, trying to monitor, uh, 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 have education and counseling of the uh, patients. We, have, we are in this uh, strong and uh, special connection with three other hospitals, the City University Hospital with hem adult hematology clinic, infectology, and uh, maxillofacial surgery. We have with a county university, we have orthopedic surgery, neurosurgery, gastroenterology, and, and dentistry. And with this clinical center, Christian Sherban, which is aiming uh, more uh, locomotor rehabilitation, psychosocial support, and also activities of training uh, of uh, patients and professionals. Oh, I beg your pardon. So uh, we have, uh, we, you speak about a team, but it's not a team belonging to a single institution. 
We try to, to compile a team in, from all these in institutions which are, uh, uh, really, uh, have this strong uh, wish to, to cooperate and to, to achieve all the tasks uh, of, a, of, of a, the multi-disciplinary uh, care, so we can see uh, all these uh, uh, type of uh, activities are covered by, by members of uh, these teams belonging to these uh, four institutions. The services, we try to have this uh, 24 hour clinical service uh, capable of handling also emergencies and uh, uh, we have a, an important number of patients, as you can see. We have special services in uh, more, more than 180 surgical interventions, uh, 35 of them major interventions, orthopedic, thoracoabdominal, orodental, and other type of surgical uh, needed uh, interventions in emergency or a program. We have to manage uh, inhibitor patients uh, with uh, diagnosed and uh, treatment only uh, on demand. Also performing surgery in emergency situation without uh, uh, having possibility to make ITI or uh, prophylaxis. As I have spoken, we make this physio and kinetotherapy and psychosocial support without genetic evaluation, carrier detection, and antenatal diagnosis. In order to perform this huge activity, uh, I succeeded to involve uh, in a volu vol voluntary uh, way um, some persons, and uh, the most re reliable were the eight PhD um, the ph physicians, which uh, performed uh, their PhD uh, thesis on uh, hemophilia. We also take part in uh, clinical trials in order to give the opportunity for our patients to have a better, better care, take part in educational programs for, uh, for uh, uh, patients, uh, nursing staff, uh, scientists. You can see we, we organized so many training courses, a lot of them uh, addressed to uh, kinetotherapy and locomotor rehabilitation with uh, uh, international cooperation, uh, physiotherapy training course, lab specialists uh, uh, with nurses, uh, hemophilia care in southeastern Europe was also held in, uh, in uh, uh, in Buziash, we organize this international, uh, the Nubian League um, of Thrombosis and Hemostasis International Conference, and then had two conferences held on thrombosis and hemostasis. We also uh, two pa uh, were part in uh, uh, research projects, international European research program, ESCOL and uh, Screengen, and also cooperation with some other uh, uh, colleagues from uh, abroad. We uh, succeeded, it was a very, very hard work to, to build up a national registry based on informed consent, and uh, so we have registered about uh, 2,000 uh, uh, patients uh, and 1,600 hemophiliacs. We wrote a lot of books. That is a book written together with Professor Wolfgang Schramm, with, which was awarded with the prize of the Academy. And the love of booklets, you can see some addressed to our colleagues, some addressed uh, uh, to our patients. Uh, it's about diagnosis, it's about rehabilitation. And uh, so I believe more than uh, 10 such uh, books and booklets addressed uh, uh, to patients, to our uh, colleagues, in order to improve uh, this uh, care and to give it him uh, it, uh, an image of uh, comprehensive uh, uh, care. We miss uh, home therapy, prophylaxy, all this audit program and uh, external internal quality all these highly demanding criteria which are so important and you have spoken about them. Unfortunately, 
we learned what we, 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 we always know, that goodwill and hard work and commitment and dedication is not sufficient. Uh, uh, these were the qualities which, which we brought us together in order to make something better in, uh, in uh, uh, this uh, frame of hemophilia care, also in lab uh, uh, dom uh, field. And these are all the tests which we can perform without uh, doing uh, multimers um, and genetic analysis and carrier detection and prenatal diagnosis. So you can, I will show you also the results of our struggle. We can be sad because of that, because you can see uh, images of our patients. They are not from books from uh, 50 or, uh, years ago. They are uh, actual images of patients with, with uh, destroyed uh, uh, joints, with um, compartment syndrome, with uh, uh, pseudotumors, and uh, many, many such very, very, very difficult situations. And also, we are confronted with a very special profile of mortality. So most of our patients, we don't uh, uh, anymore have the up, uh, update of our registry, which we've performed, which such a big uh, struggle. But um, uh, from the reports we have, we know that the age of our patients uh, uh, who died, uh, um, most of them had an uh, um, age less than 40 years, with uh, difficult um, and, uh, and uh, delayed treatment of laryngeal hematoma and cerebral uh, subdural hematoma and uh, hepatorenal insufficiency because of uh, the addiction to uh, painkillers and uh, also cases of suicides. So these are our uh, sad realities. We have to see what are the causes of this situation. And um, the most important is, is a lack of awareness that uh, factor concentrates are special uh, medicines. They are essential medicines, and so they should be an, in, uh, a priority for uh, our um, health care, and uh, that we are in the risk that essential medicines become orphaned uh, uh, medications in, the, in our country. Insufficient quantity in, and uh, in uh, a equitable accessibility to factor concentrates, you saw uh, it in other image, and it's an unfair, it was, and I, I do hope that it will be not anymore because this year we succeeded to separate again hemophilia from the other rare disorders which are all, the, all very high demanding, cost demanding. And uh, yes, we have to update our uh, national registry in order to can plan and to, to uh, see how to distribute in a more transparent and more correct way the resources. And to solve the problem of this, um, the, the subject of today, um, uh, to designate um, uh, and nominate uh, centers for treatment and centers for uh, comprehensive care, so that also expensive patients uh, should uh, be treated and not rejected uh, because of the, the costs. So I fully agree and we all, and also I believe, uh, uh, and I do hope that our, our um, uh, um, uh, policy makers, we accept that the principles of management are the same all over the world, that prophylaxis tr uh, treatment should be available to all of uh, uh, people uh, in all countries, that the European Union we are belonging to require three units per capita, and it's, it, uh, it should be not uh, remain as a promise. And uh, all these uh, um, goals are, uh, are realistic, and uh, we are so happy that it was a stonebreaker and uh, Brian Mahoney. They um, uh, have shown that Romania is below this curve that means the, the, the care, the hemophilia care, is under the economical possibility of the country. 
So together, all these uh, mentioned on this uh, image, together, I do hope uh, could uh, uh, assure a better future uh, for our hemophiliacs. Thank you.